Welcome to our BSU Spirit Week Heritage. Today is Tuesday, February 4th, and this is your Patriot Press News BSU Takeover. I'm Slita Hubbard, and here are your announcements for the day. We're at a halfway point of our Spirit Week, where we are celebrating 90s Hip Hop Day, and hoping to see everyone wearing their 90s throwback gear. Tomorrow is celebrating our Roots Day, so come dressed in African-style clothing. As we continue to highlight our notable figures in black history, today we bring you Sojourner Truth. Sojourner Truth was an African-American abolitionist and women's rights activist. Truth was born into slavery in Swart Kill, New York, but escaped with her infant daughter to freedom in 1826 and was successful. She was best known for her speech on racial and gender inequalities, and I, a woman delivered at the 1851 Ohio Women's Rights Conference. Her first language was thus, and last but not least, she was the first black woman to successfully challenge a white man in U.S. court. February is Kindness Month. Friday Night Live is sponsoring Teacher's Heart Attack, and if anyone is interested in finding out more or helping, head to W213. The schedule is on the door. We will be working on making heart messages most lunches the first two weeks of February. And we have a BSU special edition of Wacky Wednesday, followed by some announcements, so let's check that out. What's up, Heritage? Today is Wacky Wednesday BSU Takeover Edition. And we're going to see who can finish the lyric. So we're here with... Damoni. And we're going to see if she can finish this lyric. Are you ready? Sure. OK. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground is where I spend most of my days. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we're here with... Booker Jones. Real name? Yes. That's Booker Jones. Oh, OK. Um, so we're going to see if you can finish the lyric. No, I don't want no scrub. I don't know that. I don't know that. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> no, I don't want no scrub. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we are here with... Gia. We're going to see if you can finish the lyric. OK. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I don't know that song. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know this song? Pull out the whole seal. I'ma get. No, no. I know, I know, I know. I don't know the rest of it. Oh. Um, so we can't finish the lyric. I don't know. I, I know. I'm here with. Quali Payne. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see if you can finish the lyric. Alright. There not be no African music. Um. Okay, ready? When a couple of friends, they was up to no good. Started trying to. All right, can I ask for this? Okay. Started causing trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, that's how. It got one little fight. My mom got scared. She said you're moving with your auntie and your uncle in Bel Air. Bel Air. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, so we're here with Daryl. And we're gonna see if we can finish the lyric. <clears throat> I don't want no scrub. <laughs> A guy is a scrub. He can't get nothing from me. <laughs> yeah, a know. scrub is a guy that can't get yeah. no love from me. Oh, um, What's your, your boy, name? your boy Koi. Okay. We're gonna see if we can finish the lyric. My bad. Is it okay if I call you my Prada Bay? Hold on. I ain't Hold no on. player. I just got a loud <laughs> bay. All right, bro. <laughs> so we're here with. Debbie Yerger. And you're gonna finish the lyric, okay? Ready? I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room. Oh. <laughs> that's my song, that's my song. All right. Is it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I can get Kiki. Kiki. Okay. I'm here with Imani. And the challenge is you got to finish the lyric, all right? OK. All right. You look so dumb right now. Oh, standing outside my house. Okay. I knew that one. All right, all right, bet. <laughs> all right. So I'm here with? Keyshawn. And you're going to finish the lyric. Are you ready? ready? All right, ready? In West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground is where I spend most of my days. Hey. <laughs> so I'm here with? Madeline. And Daniela. OK, so the challenge is you got to finish the lyric, all right? OK. OK. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a thing. Can't get no love from me. <laughs> OK. <Yeah. laughs> all right. Thank you. We're here with? Kiana and Grace, and we're gonna see if y'all can finish the lyric. I'm so sick of love songs, so tired of tears. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that's pretty good. So I'm here with Nai Nai, and the challenge is you gotta finish the lyric, all right? Okay. Okay. I'ma get lazy. 
I got the mojo. This <laughs> We've been trapping like the 80s. So Patriots, that was our finished the lyric, Wacky Wednesday. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, don't forget, Mr. Heritage is this Friday, February 7th at 7 p.m. in the theater. Tickets are $8 pre-sale at ASB and $10 at the door. See you there. Hey, hey Patriots. Patriots, your Interact Club is having a blood drive on February 12th. Sign-ups are in the quad during both lunches starting January 28th through February 7th. We'll also be having morning sign-ups for January 31st, February 3rd, and February 7th. If you donate, you'll receive a Fandango movie ticket. Hope to see y'all there. Hey Patriots, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So if you need to buy something sweet for your friends, family, or loved ones, we got you covered. HHS Robotics is selling Valentine's grams for just $3. You can make a customizable heart or a best friend pair. Uh, we'll be out in front of the birdcage here uh, during both lunches until February 12th, so be sure to check us out. Hey seniors, class of 2020, I'm Adrian Ramos. And I'm Jesse Nunez. Today I want to talk to you guys about how you guys need to start submitting in your FAFSA since it's now it's a graduation requirement and they have to be submitted in before March 2nd. You can also earn an extra grad ticket if you do it before then. So far we currently hold the number one uh, submitted FAFSA applications in the district. We currently have 378, Paloma currently has 304, and Paris has 327. So let's keep our number one spot in the district. We are also doing a raffle every week to whoever submitted a FAFSA or CATA application. So this week we have... Uh, Erwin Ramos, let's go in and surprise him right now. All right, hello. Congratulations, Erwin Ramos. You won a $25 gift card to Panda. <laughs> come, come up, come up. Along with filling out your FAFSA and CATA Dream Act grant, there's also multiple different opportunities for you to get different scholarships. This week we're going to be highlighting on Wen as she just received a scholarship through the QuestBridge program. Hi, my name is An and I will be talking about the QuestBridge scholarship. In order to apply, you need to go to QuestBridge.org and start your application. So the application has three parts to it. The first part starts in your junior year with a college prep scholar application. Furthermore, you go into your senior year and apply for the national finalist match application. And then in December, the results come out for the match. Me, the scariest part of the whole process was trying to learn about myself. A lot of the prompts require you to learn more about yourself and discover parts of you that you haven't really admitted to yet. And so when you answer those essay questions, it really gets scary when you are facing yourself, but in a different light. Even though the application process was really scary, I do look forward to trying something new in a different state because I am going to Emory University and I'm really fortunate enough to have that opportunity to do so. When you apply to QuestBridge, you probably worry about like your GPA, or your SAT or ACT scores, but to be honest, I don't think the process really requires that much attention to it. Each college has its own requirements and honestly, you have to go to the website and just look at all the colleges that you want to apply to and see what they're looking for. They only average out the score, so worrying too much about SAT your ACT or your GPA too early into the process might actually stress you out more than it will benefit you. For those of you seeking to apply to QuestBridge, I think the one thing you really need to focus on is trying to portray your most authentic self. It takes a lot of time to discover this part about you, but honestly it's worth it if you just put your 110% into it. We want to thank Ann for telling us all about that QuestBridge scholarship. Also, everyone here at Patriot Press News and BSU want to say a huge congratulations to her for receiving the scholarship. What she happened to leave out was that highlighted scholarship that she is receiving covering her entire cost of her college education was totals to over a quarter million dollars. Way to go on. That's our announcement today, Patriots. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.